Hey guys, how's it going everybody? My name is Little Twinger and ladies and gents, welcome, welcome back to a brand new LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 Customs video and a brand new Fortnite LEGO video because we are going to go on ahead and of course build yet another custom skin inside the lego marvel superheroes so essentially what we're doing is we're taking fortnite skins and then turning them into a lego minifigure designs that's the goal that is the mission so with that all in mind ladies and gents of course today's request comes to us from jackie tricks who is a longtime supporter so thank you so very much for that jackie tricks and thank you so very much for not only commenting down below for a suggestion but also tuning into the the live streams that i do for fortnite blitz do the detective skin and the fate skin please we will get to the fate skin potentially in the future if you guys want to see it let me know in the comment section below but today we will definitely get to the detective skin or as i assume it was the noir skin that you were referring to so let's go on ahead and do exactly that and hopefully we end up with a pretty cool looking character so that is going to be the skin that we're going for currently appearing on your screen so it's pretty much a mostly kind of black trench coat uh uh, I guess white sh dress shirts and black tie underneath the fedora hat is going to be super important and then of course if we can shades and a mustache so those are all going to be elements that we need to try to nail for this character all right so with all that in mind ladies and gents let us begin so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to probably go on ahead and take a look at first the faces just because I don't think that there is a face that has both sunglasses and uh, a mustache I could be wrong but we're gonna scroll through all of this to identify whether or not I am uh, and then from there we're gonna make a call as to what we are going to do next so that is an option uh, because that's kind of the closest to sunglasses that we have so far because these are obviously more like reading glasses so that's not gonna really work I guess that could potentially work, but the goatee is wrong, so that obviously would not be applicable in this case. Same with this particular hair, uh, facial hair choice. So unfortunately, that would not work either. Um, boom, boom, boom. Okay, so this, on the other hand, works really well for the mustache. So that could be an option for sure, Iron Man 2020. But the issue is that then we don't have the sunglasses. Uh, so that's gonna be a bit of a problem. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We could... <clears throat> you know what I'm thinking, actually? What if we did this and then went to the neck area and made the must... Oh, you can't... Wait. Can you have a mustache and uh, a hat? Because we will definitely need a hat. So let me just test that out right away, just so we know. So we're not wasting time later on. Um. Oh, wow. They don't have the fedora? Really? That's so strange, because I could have sworn they had it in this game. Hmm. Okay, lesson learned. I guess they do not. Uh, they have this hat. They have this hat. Again, all of them are the wrong color, because we're trying to go for a black hat. Ay ay ay. Okay. Mm, so, I guess we're going to have to go with this one, which it, it's much more of a cowboy hat. But, again, the problem is that there really isn't anything better as far as options are concerned. I think I'll go with that one, though, because I think that'll look a little bit better. Uh, so that's an option, is to go on ahead and design the character this way. Use the mustache uh, and kind of pretend to create sunglasses. So it's an, uh, an option and a possibility. Let's just leave it at that for now. Uh, let's continue scrolling, though. See what else we could find. And then we're going to start making decisions afterwards. Just because I don't really want to jump to a conclusion yet. We haven't looked at all the different headpieces. I guess those could kind of look like sunglasses as well, but they look way too futuristic for the skin that we're making. So because of that, I think we're going to go on ahead and use the Koi Boy uh, face. Is there anything that looks like sunglasses? No, you can't. I wish you could attach sunglasses because I would have used then the Iron Man 2099 or sorry, 2020 uh, variation because that would have been pretty good. But unfortunately, they do not give us that option. Okay, so we have our character somewhat figured out. 
Um, the easy stuff is going to be the arms and the hands because they're just going to be black. No details on them whatsoever. I guess maybe we could pick something that's black and has a little bit of a cuffling type design on it if that's available. So let me just scroll through this really quickly uh, just to see. Mm, nope, that's way too busy. And yeah, okay. So we're just going to go with the plain black then because everything else is just a uh, far, far too busy design. Uh, so we're going to go on ahead and make our way back up top, recolor that, and we're good to go in that department. Okay, so now to the trench coat area. So we need something that is going to be mostly black, but ideally, if it's possible to show some sort of a white dress shirt underneath, I guess kind of like that somewhat, but this looks more like the character from Westworld. Um, this would have worked well if the shirt underneath was white. So that's a bit of a bummer. Uh, but let's not jump to conclusions yet. Let's look at what is available. Uh, that could work, actually. Hmm. I kind of like the way that that looks. I know that it's not a trench coat, but I actually do think that that could work. So that's definitely a contender right now. Um, so let's continue scrolling down and see what else is available. What is this torso? Oh, that's Corvus Glaive. Dang, that's a cool torso. I can't believe I haven't used that for anything. That looks really cool. I totally need to design something using that because that looks really sweet. Um, okay, we could use that, which would be more accurate because it's got the black tie. So I think that is now the new contender for our chosen torso. We'll see if there's anything better. We're only about halfway down the list. This kind of flips things on its head, but it's not going to work. Obviously not really what we're going for. Kind of the opposite in all respects. Uh, so that's not going to function. Uh, da, da, da. I'm trying to see pretty much most of the torsos here. And uh, that's not going to work. Nope. And no. I'm trying. I really am trying to be open minded here as far as like what we might be able to use. But these designs just do not fit. I feel like, again, I understand that we're trying to go for more of a trench coat design than an actual like jacket and suit and tie look. But with that in mind, what we are getting with this look is as accurate as we possibly can be. So I think that's the way to go. Now, I am wondering if, like, I should probably change the color on the mustache. For some reason, I just feel like it, it really stands out far too much. So maybe like that or maybe this. No, that's too bright. I think this color actually works well. There we go. So I think that will work pretty decently now um hips and legs so the hips need to be mostly black but then maybe something that resembles a belt so if they have something along those lines that would be great he does have this big giant belt uh that the character is wearing is that a belt i can't tell i don't think so uh is there anything that's just like a belt buckle like is that available that'd be great uh, that would be very, 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 very great. Um, but I don't think there is anything like that, unfortunately. I guess there we go. That's kind of a belt, right? It's got the little clip and everything, so I think that works. And then for the legs, again, we could go just plain black. Um, but I would like to go on ahead and first take a look at what is available. Because something like this works well because it kind of creates the illusion of a trench coat, you know? But the problem is that the colors are completely off, so... We can't really use that, unfortunately. Um, I don't really want to use something with kneecaps either because that would be inaccurate. That's probably the best contender right now. I think that would work uh, because it's got the pockets and everything. So it kind of works for the design that we're going for. Uh, that's a little bit too busy, but it does look cool. So I will give it that. So it gets brownie points for looking cool. Uh, that kind of looks cool too, actually. I like that too. Especially because the trench coat has buttons on it. So it could be kind of cool to use those legs instead to kind of create the illusion of those buttons. Or to at least bring that element of the design into this somehow. So I kind of do want to use that. Um, the Iron Man 2020 uh, legs, that is. And uh, yeah, so I think that's the ones we're going to use, actually. Because everything else uh, is not as good. So let's scroll all the way up to I... To do to oh actually hmm because that kind of gives you the illusion of hmm mm -mm. I wonder man that's tough 
I could definitely use that for the buttons and everything, but I almost feel like this might be better because it really does create the illusion of a trench coat, right? So I think we'll go with that. We'll go with it. All right. Uh, what else are we missing? Do, do, do. Got that, got that, got that. Okay, I think we nailed everything that needed to be nailed. Uh, I think we did it. Actually, one thing I'm going to check, though. One quick thing I'm going to check. Maybe there's a hair uh, that has the fedora hat attached to it. There is not, which is a bit unfortunate. And then I'm just going to quickly check the headpieces again, just to make sure that there is nothing more accurate uh, than the option that we have chosen. And it doesn't really seem like there is. So that's a bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. So either way, ladies and gents, that is going to be our take on the character of the noir detective. So of course, on tomorrow's video for Fortnite uh, Customs, you should expect a showcase of 10 different skins. So that should be really, really, really cool. I'm gonna go on ahead and make a video showcasing 10 different designs that we have gone ahead and put together. And I'm not gonna name them because I'm actually, well, I guess you can see them in the naming areas. But maybe I'll try to cut that out or something just so that you guys can't see them and then look for you guys to guess what skins they were. We will keep the katana equipped to the character because I think it looks pretty cool with a katana, so why not? And plus, maybe it's like he's playing Save the World or something where there are melee weapons like katanas. So nevertheless, ladies and gents, here is the design for the noir detective mustache and all. He's got his cool hat. He's looking super duper epic. I am actually quite happy with the way that this one turned out. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Also, if you want to get a shout out like Jackie Tricks did, please go on ahead and use this comment section down below to let me know what design you would like to see next time. And of course, like always, guys, have an absolutely fantastic day. I'll catch you guys here next time. Peace out. See you later, alligators. Bye-bye, everyone.